Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take a look at how to manage orders in WooCommerce. So we're on the site right now as you can see, uh, now there's two ways we can do this. We can click add to cart and go through the checkout process but that's probably a little bit slow and it won't really give us the coverage of what I would like to cover. So we're going to go into WooCommerce in the dashboard and then orders. And as you can see here right now, there are no orders. If there were, then we could go in and edit an order. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is click add order. And uh, this can be handy to know how to do if, for instance, you have a customer who doesn't really want to use your website, doesn't know how to use it, and has maybe sent you an email and you're going to take care of it for them. So we'll just get started with this now. You can see the order date is automatically populated, uh, as is the time. From here, what we need to do is change the status to, well, we can put it as anything really, but we'll just leave it as pending for now, and the customer. Now, if it's for an existing customer, they'll have an account, but in this case, it's just for a guest. In the instance that this was a real e-commerce website, then ideally you would have a lot of customers with accounts and you could just type in and find their name very easily. And what we can do now is set up some details. So I've just populated some billing details there. Uh, you can also choose the payment method. So we'll put that as PayPal for now. Then we'll click on shipping details and we'll copy from billing. And that's all been copied across very nicely there. Uh, no problem at all. What we can do now is add items to this order. So we've got old boots, there you go. Uh, we'll put that in, add items. 50 pounds is on there as the fee. We don't need to do anything here, but you can see if you had a downloadable product, such as an ebook, for instance, or like maybe some music, you can put it in there, it'll search for it, and then hit add access. Uh, from there, what we can do is go over to the order totals. And what we want to do is put in a shipping cost. Let's put it as international delivery. And let's just say it's 25. What we can do now is come for an order discount. If you were going to give your customer a discount, maybe you could put it as 10. And there you go. So you can see that 50 plus the 25 less the 10 uh, comes to a total of 65 pounds for this particular order. And just in here, what you can do is add a note to the order if you'd like. Uh, this is a note that will go out to the customer. If you'd like, you can add a private note though, and that way it's only visible to you. What we'll do now is we'll just save the order. So we've got all those details locked away now. What we can do is come through to actions and change this to anything we like. So it's currently pending. We can change it to, what we can do is go down to the actions now, and you can see here, what we can do is resend some older emails. So you can see you've got the new order, processing order, and so on, and then hit this button and that'll send it. Otherwise, what we can do is change the order status over here. So we put it to processing completed. So what we'll do is we'll just change that to completed and then we'll save the order. So of course, uh, anytime you put in a manual order, you'll need to find or negotiate a way to take payment from the customer. So doing that is entirely up to you to manage with them. But what we can do now is jump back into the orders screen. And there we go. We can get a nice look at the orders that are in there. We can click through very easily and take care of anything that we need to in there. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to manage orders in WooCommerce. If you have any questions about what we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe for more.